The day that the Magic Kingdom opened here in Orlando over 30 years ago, Mike Vance, then the creative director, was standing at the gates. A man came through and said to Mike, isn't it too bad that Walt didn't live to see this? And Mike Vance said he did. That's why it's here. I had long heard that story. So a few years ago, I was talking to Bob Matheson, who for 42 years worked for Disney out in California, worked with Walt Disney. And I, I said, let me ask you a question, Bob. I said, if Walt came back right now, and by the way, he won't come back. He is not frozen. He is buried in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Los Angeles. I said, Bob, if Walt came back, would he be surprised, shocked by all that he sees here in Orlando? And Bob said, not at all. He said he saw the whole thing from the airplane that day. I said, well, if he walked into a meeting, what would he say? And Bob said, well, he'd probably say, you know, this project you have up on the drawing board, he said, I already had that operational four years ago. And this project he opened up last year, he said, five years ago, I already had that running. He said, you're running behind on some of these projects. You need to pick up the speed a little bit. And Bob said he'd have had a little twinkle on his face, a little grin on his lips. But he said he saw the whole thing. As a matter of fact, the night before he died at St. Joseph's Hospital in Burbank, California, he was looking up at the ceiling in his hospital room. His brother Roy was there. And Walt, on the checkerboard ceiling blocks, was diagramming to Roy how he wanted Epcot to look. You know, just imagining the whole thing. So, folks, here's what I've concluded. Most of the time, we stop ourselves with a mindset that says, so high and no more. We allow life-limiting thoughts to get into our head. Either we plant them there or we let other people plant them, and we buy into it. You know, maybe it was Aunt Minnie when you were eight years old or a fifth-grade classmate who said, you're never going to do that, and we buy into it. And the rest of our lives, it's like it's carved in granite. We can't do something. I say, where is it carved in granite? So may I encourage you today here in Orlando, in Disney's area, Walt's Domain, the imagination capital of the world. Would you please shatter those mental restrictions and, and go for it? And understand that this life is not a dress rehearsal. I mean, this is not a practice round. We don't get a mulligan on life. You know, this is it. And so your dreams, your pursuits, your freed up imagination, here and now is the time to do it. And don't hold back.